uh, kidnapping in Chicago, but the mother and the child is safe. Now, we actually got a little bit of good news in Chicago today, so we're going to get to that. Let's get it popping. We are beginning with breaking news here in the 10 o'clock hour. A mother and her child reported kidnapped on the city's northwest side in just the last few minutes. Police say they have been found. Let's get right to CBS 2's Andrew Ramos. He's live in Jefferson Park for us. Andrew, a witness told you they saw this abduction. That's right, Chris, and uh, we got this update from Chicago police a short time ago. Like you said, this mother and daughter have been found safe and sound. Now, this terrifying situation unfolded right here in the 5500 block of North Austin Avenue. Now, according to police, a witness told officers that the woman and her daughter were made uh, were inside an apartment at this uh, three unit building when at about 440 PM they were forced into an SUV by two unknown male offenders. Now, like you said, a neighbor told us that her husband heard screams and when he looked out the window, saw the adult victim in a headlock being shoved into the vehicle. Now, cops say the offenders fled southbound from the location with the victims. We spoke to some neighbors who confirmed that this mother and daughter had recently moved into the building just this month. Now, many of them shocked to learn about the abduction that happened on a block full of families and longtime residents. Now, again, the good news in this case, the victims have been found safe and sound. Now, details about how they were found and those responsible for abducting them still unclear. Uh, police, we are told, still investigating. Now, that's the latest from here in Jefferson Park. I'm Andrew Ramos, CBS 2 News. Okay. That's unfortunate. Um, I would love to hear the details of what happened and how they found them. Um, because we don't want nobody getting shoved into a car. A mother and a child getting shoved into a car, kidnapped? Mm, that's not a good look. That's not a good look. Listen, the least, the, the least vulnerable amongst us needs to be protected the most, uh, which includes women and children. It used to be that women and children were off limits. And you know what? You know what else is not really being talked about? What's not really highlighted and talked about is all of this trafficking that's going on. And it's not just women as prostitutes, as for the streets, as walking the streets. No, it's a huge thing and has been going on for years as far as people selling people. And it's, it's, it's massive. So God bless. I'm glad that they found those people. We don't want nobody uh, out here getting shoved into a car, especially no, no, no women and children, yo. It's out here bad. Uh, also, so I reported on a story, and so you know I always like to bring myself back to the front of the congregation. I reported on a story on Quick Hits, uh, I believe it was last week, it's probably last week, of a robbery that happened over in Chicago. Well, it turns out that the feds are saying that this robbery was staged in order to try to get some migrants some visas. So I don't know whether or not we give Chicago credit for not having another robbery, or for the fact that they have a bunch of migrants over there that's trying to get visas and so they've learned how to stage robberies in order to try to get themselves uh, United States citizens <laughs> in the sanctuary city. It's bad all around, but it's good and bad at the same time. I don't know. Take a look. Also tonight, more than a dozen terrifying robberies across Chicago and the suburbs were all staged, according to federal prosecutors. They handed down charges today against six men accused of this fake robbery scheme, all to obtain special immigration visas reserved for crime victims. CBS2 investigator Megan Hickey is digging into how this all worked. One of those alleged robberies happened at this Bucktown liquor store last summer, according to federal prosecutors. Victims of armed robberies can apply for a special visa to help encourage them to cooperate with police. But according to the indictment, these victims were fake. So wait, 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 wait. Who knew this? I am a United States citizen. I was born and raised in Detroit, Michigan. Uh, I think that I've heard of the majority of what's going on out in these streets or what the possibilities are. I have never in my life, never in my life heard of this loophole for illegal immigrants. So are you telling me that immigrants have done enough research to realize that if they get robbed, in order to make sure that they cooperate with the police, they can get special circumstances and special visas to help them become citizens faster and quicker. I had never heard of this in my entire life. 
Yo, this is insane, bro. Back in July, the owner of this Bucktown liquor store told us he was stunned by the dramatic robbery that left his clerk with a gunshot wound. I'm just so feeling so sorry for him because uh, I hope everything great goes well. They seen it through. They said we're going to shoot and everything. We got to make it real. Continue serving the community. The surveillance video showed two masked men in all black walk in. The clerk and other customers handed over their wallets and belongings. Then one suspect fired a shot, injuring a 26-year-old employee. In January of 2023, police in Lake Villa said this suspect did the same thing in a liquor store there. But according to this newly filed federal indictment, both incidents and about a dozen others were staged in order for the victims to be able to obtain a special type of visa available to crime victims. Are you guys willing to take a gunshot in order to become a, a citizen of the United States of America? I never heard of this type of stuff before. Here's how the scheme worked, according to the feds. Six people are charged with organizing and participating in staged armed robberies. Why are they not showing them? These would take place at restaurants, coffee shops, liquor stores, and gas stations across Chicago and the suburbs. They went from as far south as South Holland, north as Lake Villa, and as west as St. Charles, just to name a few. This scheme knew no borders, with two of the supposed fake crimes taking place in Tennessee and Louisiana as well. They've undergone something pretty, pretty uh, serious. Xavier Borjas is an immigration attorney who helps victims of crimes obtain U visas, which can help encourage victims to report crimes without fear of being deported. To ensure that they're willing to uh, assist. So he getting the bag off of telling people, hey man, I can get y'all a visa without fear of getting deported if y'all out here committing crimes, he a part of the problem. Some of these lawyers and stuff like that, they just as much as a part of the problem as the people that's out here committing the crimes. Assist the police in the investigation, assist in any charges. Reading this super chat shortly. These cases are not what it's meant for. It's, it's very disheartening because uh, there are so many people uh, that unfortunately do, uh, are, do qualify and have been victims of these crimes um, that you want to ensure, hopefully get some sort of, uh, some, some sort of relief. We asked him. I did not know that. I am, I'm new to this whole thing. Employee working here today about the federal indictment. He said he had no idea and was not working here the day of the robbery. The indictment doesn't make it clear exactly who was in on these crimes, but we should find out more in court. In wow. Well, so now we got to be skeptical of when people are actually committing crimes and whether or not they actually doing it for ulterior motives outside of just getting money. I've always wondered like, man, why they in there stealing $30 or you willing to wish, risk your freedom off of that? Nah, they out here risking their freedom to get citizenship so they can be out here finessing. Anyways, last but not least, uh, I've covered this. Uh, I think it was last Friday. I covered it, but we got to cover it here on the Millionaire Morning Show just a little bit. Um, Diddy apologizes to Cassie. Take a look. It's so difficult to reflect on the darkest times in your life. This dude looks so fake. I can't even do it. He look. It don't. Oh, God, this is so cringe. Sometimes you got to do that. I was fucked up. I mean, I hit rock bottom. It's horrible act. But I make no excuses. My behavior on that video is inexcusable. I take full responsibility for my actions in that video. I'm disgusted. I was disgusted then when I did it. I'm disgusted now. I went and I sought out professional help. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Was that before or after the video got released? That's all I'm asking. Was it before or after the video got released? Because the video was recorded in 2016. Was it before or after the video got released that you went and saw professional help? Jesus, Lord, help us. Oh, Diddy out here making us all look bad. And we, I personally gave you the benefit of the doubt. And I always got to bring myself to the front of the congregation. And I say it, I'm always open to the possibility that I'm wrong. And I was off on this one. I was 100% off on this one. And I still don't by default believe 
by default believe every woman that automatically accuses a man of a crime, but I was off on this one, 1,000% off, and um, he's continuing to make us look bad by releasing bad videos. Let's, let's, let's look at the rest of it. Now they're going to therapy, they're going to rehab. Had to ask God for his mercy and grace. so sorry but I'm committed to be a better man each and every day <laughs> I'm not asking for forgiveness <sighs> I'm truly sorry I don't know who he got around him as his PR team I'm not sure what the heck is going on out here in these streets but one thing is for sure and two things is for certain uh, 2024 has been nothing but explosive. Nothing but explosive. Uh, I can't wait to see what happens in the second half of 2024. It's amazing. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that is your quick hits. Jesus Christ.